Here in this last section we're going to deal with uh, cases where we have fractions within fractions. And uh, an example is this expression here, 1 over x plus 3 divided by 2 over x plus 5. So both the numerator and the denominator involve fractions. We don't like that. We want to simplify it so that we don't have those fractions within fractions. And so what we're going to do here is a simple algebraic trick. We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity. So we're going to multiply this by x over x. Okay? And so why would we do that? Well, now when we distribute in the numerator, we're going to have x times 1 over x, we're going to, and that will give us 1. And then x times 3, we're going to have 3x. And then same thing in the denominator, we need to distribute. x times 2 over x is going to be 2, and then plus 5x. So that completely gets rid of those fractions within fractions, and we see there's nothing more that we can factor, and so this is our simplified uh, ex algebraic expression. So this little trick here of multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity is something that I'm going to call a clever one. C-L-E-V-E-R, a clever one. Why is it called a clever one? Well, because we're multiplying by one, and it's kind of clever. This is a Mr. Perkins term from uh, high school calculus. Here's another example of a fraction within a fraction, and I want to get rid of all those fractions. And so I note there that I've got a whole bunch of different powers in those fractions, a cubed, a squared, a first power, a fifth power. So what I'm going to do is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the largest power of x that I see, which is x, x to the fifth power, x to the fifth power. So clever one with x to the fifth power. And so now I'm going to distribute. And when I do that, I take the x to the fifth divided by x cubed. And so I'm going to get a 2x squared and then distribute there. And we're going to get an x cubed, distribute there, we'll get a minus 5x to the fourth, and then distribute there, and we're going to get a plus 2x to the fifth. And then in the denominator, I distribute here, we'll get just a 2, we'll distribute there, and we're going to get an x to the fourth power, and then we'll distribute here, and we'll get a minus 6x to the fifth. Okay? Still a somewhat complicated expression, and it's possible that we could factor this some more, but we've got rid of those fractions within the fractions, and so we're going to call that good for right now. Now, here's another example. This one doesn't involve fractions within fractions, but I want to use this to illustrate another technique that we can do. Um, Notice that what I've got in the numerator is a difference of two terms, and in the denominator I have just one term. And so one approach that we could take to simplifying this is to break this up as the difference of two fractions. I can take this first term, 8x squared y cubed, divide it by the denominator, 2x squared y, and then subtract the second term, 10x cubed y, and divided by the denominator, 2x squared y. Now because we're subtracting in the numerator, this is completely legal. And now from there we can simplify things. I've got 8 over 2, which is 4. x squareds are going to cancel. And then we've got a y squared minus, here 10 over 2 is 5. And then we're going to have an x to the first power, and the y's are going to cancel. And so there we go. Nothing more I can factor. And um, so completely simplified. Okay. Caution about using this approach is that that only works if we're adding or subtracting in the numerator. If we're adding or subtracting in the denominator, we can't break it up. So if we had the reciprocal of that fraction that we just saw, now we have a subtraction in the denominator. We can't break this up by taking the numerator divided by the first term in the denominator minus 
the numerator divided by the second term in the denominator. This, unfortunately, does not work. It'd be nice if it did. It would simplify things a lot, but it just doesn't work. So remember, you can break it up if we have addition or subtraction in the numerator, but not in the denominator.